Hi guys! Today's video is going to be a little different, or maybe not different considering my channel kind of has a lot of different videos, but I know I'm going to do the Perfect Imperfections tag, and I believe this tag was started by Andrea's Choice sometime like last year, so it's been going around for a while, but I saw it on a video today and it reminded me of why I loved that tag so much. So I am a fitness coach, and I think, you know, my challengers, a lot of people that I work with have things that they feel really insecure about. You know, that's usually why they come to me. They want to lose a few pounds. They want to feel better about themselves. And I think they look at me and, you know, they see that I wear makeup. I wear bright lips and a lot of mascara. And they automatically assume that I must be so confident in my skin and that nothing could ever be wrong with me. And that's not the truth for me, it's not the truth for anybody. So with my challengers, I try to always instill in them that, you know, everyone is beautiful, everybody has things that they don't like about themselves, and that's going to be the first thing that you channel into when you look at pictures of yourself. And everybody has things that they love about themselves, and they like to emphasize and embrace. And so I thought this would be a fun challenge, because here on YouTube, you get a lot of comments, you get a lot of mean comments, you get a lot of people telling you what is wrong with you, what you need to fix about you, and I just wanted to put it out there myself, tell you three things that I don't like about myself, but I have learned to live with, I have learned to embrace, and I realize that those things make me me, they make me who I am, they make me special, they make me unique, and then three things that I actually really like about myself. So. The first thing that I grew up hating about myself, and I can honestly say up until about a year ago, I was really self-conscious about it, and it is my chin. And yes, I have received comments on YouTube that I am going to poke people's eyes out. I have received comments that my husband must really love me because I have this crazy chin. And you know what? Even my husband, just in good fun, he even calls it a weapon. I have a very predominant chin. I have, you know, this long, long face that depending on what I do with makeup and depending on what I do with my hair, it can draw my face out even longer. So while I like having a long face, I always struggled with having a very prominent chin. Now I've learned to live with it. Now I, I like my face shape. So, but that's one thing I struggled with. And then the second one is also this area of my face, and it is the fact that my chin is crooked. So if you see it, you can kind of see that it angles off a little bit. And that is because of my jaw. My jaw is crooked. So when I would smile, I would always lean my head down and smile like this. And even still, I still do that in pictures out of habit, just because it kind of helps to make my chin look a little less angled. And then the third thing that I still have a problem with, but I've learned to accept as well, is my bottom teeth. So they are really crooked. I get a lot of comments here on YouTube that I have vampire teeth right here because they're very pointy. So growing up, um, we didn't have a whole lot of money. So I had braces on my top teeth, but I never got them done on my bottom teeth just due to life issues and things getting in the way it was never a necessity, it never happened. So my bottom teeth are crooked, sometimes it bugs me when I watch videos, but again, I've learned to deal with it and I've learned to accept it and know that one day, maybe I'll fix it, maybe I won't, who knows. So now onto the three things that I like about myself. I really love my hair and that's another thing that I had trouble accepting as I grew up because it went through such changes. I had really long kind of straight silky hair and it was like a bright blonde and then as I got older it started getting darker, it started getting thicker, frizzier um, and now I love it because I guess through maturity it's just my hair has matured. It has become thicker but in a beautiful way. It has a nice wave. It has, you can't tell in camera, but my hair has like four different colors. I have black highlights, blonde highlights, brown highlights, and then I don't even know, red highlights, yeah. In the sun, it looks red. I get told all the time, do you have red hair? Um, so it is very unique in that it has lots of different colors. So I don't ever dye my hair because I have such a unique color and my husband tells me I would be stupid to dye it. And then also, it's just, I don't know, I like the texture, I like the wave of it, I like how thick it is. 
I love my hair. The second one is my eyes. I don't think the camera will pick it up, but I have very unique eyes. I guess they would be called hazel or green, but my eyes, when you look at them up close, they have a lot of different colors. They're green, they have a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue, and then the most like special thing about them is that when I cry or when I'm really, really sad, they turn a little more blue, which is bizarre to me, but they'll turn blue. Like not, you know, my eyes won't completely turn colors, but you can definitely see the blue that's already in my eyes come out. And then when I'm really, really, really happy or excited, they're like a bright green. So they go from being hazel to blue or hazel to green. And it's kind of crazy. I know it sounds like I'm making it up, but I swear that is how my eyes are and I love them. And I don't know, I, I just, I love them. I love that feature about myself. And then third is my lips. And this is kind of a weird one because when I was younger, I hated my lips, hated them. I remember going to a Mary Kay party and the lady tried to put on like a pink lip on me and I was like, no way, no how, like I don't want lip liner. I have odd shaped lips, like I feel like my lip goes up and it also goes out and I have a really small top lip. But then as I got older and started really experimenting with lip colors and decided that I loved bold lips, I decided that I really liked my lips and a large part of that is because I know people who have really really big lips and they can't wear red lipstick. They could never get away wearing the color that I'm wearing now or wearing a hot pink lipstick and you guys know how much I love my bright lips. I wear them in basically every single video. You never see me with a nude lip. So my lips are just something that I have learned to love as I have gotten older. So I want you to comment down below or leave a video response with three things that maybe you aren't so crazy about but you've learned to love and learn to let it be a part of you and three things that you love about yourself. Maybe something that's unique or that you get compliments about. And leave that in the comment section below or again as a video response. Thumbs up this video if you like these kind of videos and I will see you guys later. Bye!